It's not your typical commute to work, but when you're a scientist specialising in Antarctic ice, a helicopter is the best way of getting to some of the continent's most remote spots. In this case, the team are drilling ice cores from beside the Mertz Glacier in East Antarctica. The glacier extends more than 40 kilometres out over the ocean. This ice is low-lying, but just seven metres down, the team finds something unexpected. I think these bubbles probably can, these contain water, probably quite salty water. It's the first time ice cores have been taken from beside this glacier, and the discovery will give the researchers valuable information about how warming ocean currents are affecting the ice. We're getting some information just on the thickness of the ice, uh, and I think from our measurements we should be able to tell how much of this ice here is formed from snow falling down and how much is the ocean freezing uh, from below onto the bottom of the sea ice. The team also use radar to map the structure of the ice beneath them. Normally it'll give them soundings to a depth of 100 metres, but today the layers of water in the ice are limiting its scope. This ice is very saturated, so water is not good for the electromagnetic waves of the radar, so it just doesn't work. Along with the ice, the team also sample what could be the cleanest air on the planet. Being so far from the world's cities, the pollutants they find here will give them an insight into the changes that are taking place. Changing climate means that uh, energy is distributed differently in the Earth system. And this can have consequences um, to change currents in the ocean and currents in the air. And we don't know yet exactly what the impact can be and if more pollution could be transported. So uh, we are trying to find out by taking the samples. After three hours on the ice, the helicopters return and the precious cargo of ice cores are loaded on board. They're taken directly back to the ship and once there, the ice cores are placed in a freezer at minus 20 Celsius. I'll just lay it down here very gently. Initial measurements can be done during the voyage, but most of the work must wait. These ice cores will now be taken back to Europe, and it's there in a lab that the detailed analysis will be done. The physical, chemical and biological properties of each layer of ice will then be determined. So you see that process starting here. Armed with that information, these researchers will have a more detailed and accurate understanding of what's happening to Antarctica's ice and how it's responding to a warmer world. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Mertz Glacier, East Antarctica.